Pali word for meditation, bhavana, means to create, to build, to bring into being. We're trying to bring into being some good qualities in our minds. Mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind. Alertness, the ability to watch what you're doing while you're doing it. And ardency, the desire to do this well. Putting in the effort when you have to put in the effort. Watching the things that will go, that need to be watched and then doing away with things that need to be done away with. And then building things that need to be built inside. We can read about the Dharma, we can listen to the Dharma, and it can give us some good ideas about how to run our lives. But for us to have the strength to do that, we need to develop some good qualities. So it's just not just the names of mindfulness, alertness, and ardency, but we really have these qualities in our minds. You know, on a hot day like this, it may not sound like a good thing you want to do to build things in the mind, but you realize the, the effort that goes into that, it's not like a physical effort, it doesn't make you sweaty. And the ability to think skillful thoughts doesn't take anything more out of you than the ability to think, think unskillful thoughts. It takes a little more determination, but it's not going to heat up your system. In fact, it can cool things down. So try to cool the mind down with thoughts of goodwill. If you have trouble meditating on your breath, then just think, may all beings be happy, and hold that one thought in mind. And think about its implications. What does it mean to be happy? It means that you create the causes for happiness inside, which means that if you know someone has been very unskillful in his or her behavior, having goodwill for them means May they see the error of their ways and make a change, be willing to make the change. And that's a thought you can have for anybody, without hypocrisy at all. And it's a thought you should have for yourself, too. We don't want to settle for anything less than real happiness. So it means we have to build the causes inside. But the causes, again, are not the kind of things that make you have to stand out in the sun and sweat a lot. But they do mean that you don't let the heat of the day get in the way of your building good things inside. You don't have to comment on the heat. The heat's there. It comes and it goes. And your commenting on it is not going to make it go away any faster. And complaining about it doesn't make it go away any faster. But reminding yourself that you still have the ability to think skillful thoughts inside. Or just to be really still with your breath. You can be still with your breath, no matter what the temperature is outside. You're going to create good things inside, regardless of outside conditions. Because outside conditions, just look at your own body. It's going to get older, it's going to get sick, and it's going to die. And you want to have a mind that's strong enough so it doesn't get affected by those things. That you can still think good thoughts and have good intentions, regardless of what the body's doing. So you want to get good practice now while the body's still healthy. It's still relatively strong. And develop that habit. Realize, okay, there's certain things you can't do because it's hot outside, but there are a lot of good things that you can do inside your mind, regardless. So focus your attention there. As the Jamahabua once told an old woman who was thinking of transcribing some of his Dharma talks, and she was kind of afraid that she wouldn't be able to complete the job because her eyesight wasn't good, she was getting kind of old. She was in her 80s. He said, well, see how much goodness you can squeeze out of this body before you have to throw it away. In other words, don't focus on your limitations, focus on the areas where there still is good that you can do. Do as much of that as you can. So even though it's hot outside, there's still a lot of good things you can do inside your mind. Build up good qualities and develop that habit of looking for where you still have an opening to do good. And that way you find that there are opportunities everywhere, even to your last breath, and then beyond. <laughs>